This is a day that the Lord has made. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 24-25 school year. We are coming live from Arizona. No, we're not live, but we are in Arizona. I don't even know what the degrees was. I did not check, but it is hot already. It's seven in the morning. It is humid. For the past few nights, it's been getting stormy. There's definitely lightning probably every night. If you go outside, you can see it. We had thunder the other night and I wanted to record it, but I always missed it. We've had a lot of strong winds and dust and a little bit of rain for the past few nights. It is July 22nd. It was the first day of school for my son. I think I recorded the weekend that we did go school shopping which was before he left to his dad and then when he came back we went to a different location to school shop and yesterday i finalized his school supplies hygiene products and undergarments y'all it's a process number one is expensive <laughs> it has to be done like this paycheck let's do buy this this paycheck this also the older my child gets and he's a boy he's my only kid the less time he wants to be shopping the less time he wants to be with mom so trying to get his attention even though we're buying for him he's like mom can we go home now after like two stores the morning has not gone the way i planned but it's going i'm working from home today i started eight so i have plenty of time to get ready i've already done the main things that i wanted to do I just felt rushed. There was no step that was missed this morning. My son got to school on time. I wanted to get there earlier, but nonetheless, he's there because my son, he's gonna have a problem with time management on his own. <laughs> he's a junior. He started a vocational program that collaborates with schools so it's built into his school schedule but he has to leave school to go to this other place so i don't know how it's going to work with lunch like is he going to have time for lunch the school is going to transport him and even if he was driving his own vehicle to school i told him i prefer him to get on that school transportation that runs on fridays when there is no school it's still running on fridays the vocational program he's doing sports as he did last year so he has one thing different going which is that vocational program he wants to get a job because he did just turn 16. i told him I think he should wait and get his groove on. It's not like he needs to work. I'm glad that he wants to work, but I'm not asking him. I'm not forcing him to get a job. I think I want to do a morning routine. I'll film it on a weekend exactly how I would go through my week because I just want to. <laughs> I'm single. I run my home. I'm a homeowner. I've got two vehicles I'm managing. Oh, I, I forgot I got, gotta go get my Walmart order, y'all. So I gotta hurry up. I don't know why I scheduled it this morning. Why did I do that? What was I saying? Thank goodness I've got plenty of time. I guess I can look decent going to Walmart. I'm not gonna do any blush or eyeshadow. I, I decided I'm keeping it simple. I don't even remember what I was saying, y'all. Because it is a new school year, I definitely have a whole new routine that I need to stick to. And I am reading studying i should say i'm studying proverbs 31 for many years i've heard about proverbs 31 woman and i'm like 
I never thought to study it and I know I've read it but when I looked at my Bible because that's in the Old Testament and I recently reread the Old Testament I have no notes next to it so I'm really <laughs> like taking my time to study to understand what's all the hype about it one thing it said and I implemented well no I didn't really implemented i want to start waking up way like a whole hour earlier before i wake my son up i'm waking my son up a whole hour before school starts so basically i'm trying to wake up three eight hours before so that i can do everything i want to do on my list but most importantly spend unrushed time with the lord so yes i'm reading and studying proverbs 31 and it's one of the, maybe the third verse in or so, it states that the noble wife or woman, I'm not sure what word they use, or maybe they change it out. Sometimes it says wife, sometimes it says woman, wakes early when it's still dark. Y'all, that resonated with me immediately. I'm like, yes, I need to wake up early early to get all my stuff done make sure my son is prepared and ready for school and gets there on time make sure I'm prepared and ready for work that's gonna complete my look I really hope you guys have a great week if it's back to school time I hope everyone is safe and is equipped so that your child can learn and not worry about being without I hope that if it's a new like start for something for you all, either it's a new job, a new home, you're trying to start losing weight, you're trying to start new habits, whatever it may be, I wish you all well. I choose to put God first and I do my best to make the right choice because the Lord rewards me in abundance. It's not easy, but he rewards me in abundance. And if you try it, I know you will experience that too. I love you and I'll see you guys next time.